What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to show how to evaluate trig functions at the special angles. So we want to evaluate sine, cosine, and tangent at these angles here. And the two shapes we're going to use, we have the equilateral triangle and the isosceles right triangle. So for the equilateral triangle, let's assume each side is two units long. And I'm going to drop down an altitude, which is going to cut the third side in half. So each piece is going to be one unit long. And now if I want to solve for the altitude, let's call it A, I could apply the Pythagorean theorem to this right triangle here. I could also apply it to the right triangle to the, to the right here, but I could use either one, so we'll choose the one on the left. So we could set up the equation now. 1 squared plus a squared is equal to 2 squared. So we're just applying Pythagorean theorem to this triangle here. And now we've got 1 plus a squared is equal to 4, and that's going to give us a squared equals 3 after we subtract 1 on both sides. And now we've got a is equal to square root 3. So we could go ahead and label the altitude. And since it's an equilateral triangle, all the angles are also the same. So this angle is 60, this one here would be 60, and the angle at the top. So when I drop down the altitude, it's going to cut the 60 degree angle in half, and I'm going to have two 30 degree angles at the top. But I only need one right triangle here to help us fill out this table. So now we could start using these ratios. So I have sine of, let me use 30 degrees first. And this mnemonic Sokotoa helps us remember the ratio. So sine is the ratio of the side opposite over the hypotenuse. So starting at the 30 degree angle, if I look opposite of 30, opposite of 30 is the side that's one unit long. And remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is two units long. So sine of 30 degrees is equal to a half. And if I move on now to sine of 60 degrees, well, now we look at the 60 degree angle and sine is still opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite of 60 is root three over the hypotenuse is two units long. So that's going to give us the ratio for here. So now if I want to switch over to cosine, cosine is the ratio of the side adjacent to the hypotenuse. So looking at cosine of 30 degrees first, adjacent to the 30 degree angle is the root 3 side over the hypotenuse is still 2 units long. So, and let me swap this out. I don't know why I wrote cosine theta. We're specifically finding cosine of 30 degrees here. So once again, cosine of 30 adjacent to 30 is root 3. The hypotenuse is 2. And now if I want cosine of 60, now I'm down here at the 60 degree angle. Adjacent to 60 is 1. And then the hypotenuse is still 2 units long. So cosine of 30 is going to be root 3 over 2. And uh, we have cosine of 30. Now cosine of 60 is 1 half. And now if I want to find the values for tangent, I could just use the ratio opposite over adjacent. And if we're starting at 30 degrees, tangent of 30 is equal to the side opposite of 30 is 1 over the side adjacent to the 30 degree angle is the altitude, which is root 3. But now just a little bit of work we could show on the side here. 1 over root 3, if I rationalize, if I multiply by root 3 over root 3, is going to give me square root 3 over 3. So this will most commonly show up as square root 3 over 3, but just know 1 over root 3 is exactly the same as square root 3 over 3. They're, they have the same decimal value. So now if we switch over to tangent of 60 degrees, now we're focusing on this angle here, and we're looking opposite of 60 is the side that's root 3, the altitude, and adjacent to 60 is the side that's one unit long. So square root 3 over 1 is just square root 3. There's another cool little thing you could use here. Just know that tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. So one thing you could have also done is just do 1 half divided by square root 3 over 2 to get this entry. And then you could divide sine over cosine at 60. You could do square root 3 over 2 divided by a half to also get root 3. But whichever way makes you happiest, you know, just go with that method. So now for the second triangle here, if this is an isosceles, an isosceles right triangle, that means that these two sides are the same and these two angles are the same. And since we have 190 degree angle, that means we have 90 degrees left. And since these two angles have to be equal, 90 degrees divided by 2 is 45. So this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And then let's say I just make each side equal to 1. The length of the hypotenuse, which let's say we call it C, is going to give us C squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared, which gives us C squared equals 2, which tells us C is equal to the square root of 2. So now when we want to find the other values here, we just need to fill out the 45 degree column. We've got sine of 45 degrees is equal to the side opposite of 45 is 1 over the hypotenuse is square root 2. 
Now just know I could have used either of these angles. It would work out just the same. So if I want to find cosine of 45, let's say I use this one down here, adjacent to 45 is the side one unit long over the hypotenuse is still square root two. Now once again, one over square root two more commonly shows up with a rational denominator. So we can multiply this expression by square root two over square root two to get square root two over two. So I could say sine and cosine of 45 degrees is one over square root two, or I could say that it's square root two over two. But once again, this is how it's more commonly gonna show up, so I'll write it like this. And then the last entry that we need to know is what is tangent of 45 degrees. So one thing I could do here is just say tangent of 45 is equal to sine of 45 over cosine of 45 degrees. And since they're both equal to the same thing, this is just gonna simplify to one. So now this will complete the table here. These are the trig functions at the special angles. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on evaluating trig functions at special angles. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.